Recording started. Okay, I, I should have some time after to stop stop and chat about other things, stuff like that, but <sighs> fortunately just gotta get going. So um so what I have on the screen right here is I have a little Google Calendar that I created. And if you log into your course and you go down, which some of you guys need to log into your course, and you're gonna receive a message from me pretty soon about not logging into your course. So make sure you log into your course and get going. Um, but this has a really good plan. I also have a link at the bottom here where you can click and get this and you can bookmark it just so you keep pace with the class. So remember we had our first live lesson on Monday. We had a flipped class or recorded class on Wednesday that I posted to the announcement board. Um, and our first lesson one quiz was due Wednesday. So today, every Monday is kind of when I go in and do my grading. So I went in and I zeroed out your score if you didn't do quiz one, okay? But don't fret if you didn't get it done or whatever, okay? Um, you still have time to do this, okay? You can go back and do that quiz one. But you need make sure you need to keep pace. So lesson two quiz is due today. That's the recorded class that's on the class announcements there that you get on your class announcements. That will be the content for uh, quiz two. What we're going over today is everything for quiz three, which is due Wednesday. Okay. Um, also, as we were talking about before I started the recording, it is uh, Labor Day on Monday, so there will be no class. Okay. So no class on Monday. Just look for your flipped class on Wednesday of next week or your recorded class, okay? So no class next Monday uh, for everybody that goes to Labor Day and hopefully you enjoy your time. Okay, some people said they were going hunting. Some people said they are staying home, binge watching things. Whatever uh, makes you happy, go have a good time, okay? All right, so what we're going to be doing, we're going to go over two things today. One, the first one, we're going to go over human impact. And remember, this first unit is just talking about geography as a whole, okay? So we're not talking about any specific country right now or a specific place. Just what is human impact and what does it look like? The next one <clears throat> is they go over a thing called careers in geography. Uh now that basically just means that um, what you can do if you want to go to school and study geography. Okay, one thing is you could be a geography teacher. You could be like me, I guess, if you really want to. Okay, so human impacts. We're going to talk about how it affects uh, the environment and stuff like that and goods between people and stuff. So let's kind of roll on here. Okay, we went over this before a little bit. You've, you've seen this picture the last uh, live class we had. Uh, I think we talked about this before. Remember, what, what type of food is this real quick? And where is it from? This food right here that my pointer's on. What is it and where is it from? Sushi and from Japan. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Hopefully you like raw fish. It's good. If you ever go to Hawaii, try poke. It's another like raw fish kind of thing. Okay. Uh, also, other things that affect, so as we, so think about this, as we consume food, right, and things like that, we also have waste, right, and where does that waste go? It has to go somewhere, so that we affect the earth in that way, okay? Also, housing is we're building a lot of houses, we're taking natural resources and we're building things, okay? So how does that affect the land? How does that affect uh, animals, that kind of stuff? So you're looking at those things. Okay, also the picture down here, a picture of a dam, okay? Uh, we need water to survive, and one of the things we do is we uh, dam up rivers, so then we have a lot of water uh, to irrigate, grow food, um, also drink, all that kind of stuff, okay? So we affect the earth in multiple, multiple ways. Okay, so... Let's talk a little bit about religion real quick, okay? I'm gonna open up the chat here, or not the chat, but the pool. A, B, C, or D, okay. All right, so religion actually does a lot on human impact. Uh, as we know, there's a lot of debate over religion, um, which is okay. 
you know, but sometimes people go to the extreme. But let's have a question here. Let's talk a little bit about uh, religion, okay? What religion was most influential in the forming of the United States of America? I'm just going to clear the thing real quick, so I'm going to have you answer now. Was it A, Islam, okay? B, Mormonism, C, Judaism, or D, Christianity, okay? So which one was the most influential of the forming of the United States, okay? Okay, very good. I saw some people put some stuff on the chat there as well. Very good. Okay. All right. So let's let me flip it to the next slide here. So it actually is Christianity. So um, some of you guys put Mormonism. That's more, as Sabrina said, B is more like the forming of Utah, like the creation of Utah, um, as you probably learned in your Utah study class. But when you get into Utah history. And I think you should have took that like in eighth grade or something like that. Anyways, um, Christianity was the one that kind of formed it, right? You think about the um, pilgrims paint coming over on the Mayflower. They were uh, part Christian. Well, this little graph here, we look at a lot of maps in geography. This one kind of uh, comes out uh, what exactly everything covers. So as you can see, Christianity is the most predominant religion throughout the entire world you see North and South America a lot of uh, or most of what would call uh, Europe okay and Australia and South Africa areas are um, Christianity Islam is the second highest okay and that goes out through North Africa and the Middle East okay And, yeah, so somebody said to keep in mind religion is different in places, and not all of them are the same behavior-wise. Yeah, so they act different ways. There's different brands, I guess, of Christianity, different brands of Islam. Um, and then you also have your, your Eastern ones, which are Buddhism, Hinduism. And then you have a lot of places that are like no religion right now, or folk religion, which basically means like the tribal, like... Um, like the American Indians, they, they had kind of a folk religion is what we would call it um, today in academia. All right, let's talk about some other things that uh, human impact. One is political systems, okay? So political system like a democracy, okay? A democracy is like a system that's run by the people, for the people. So you think about the United States, most modernized economies are uh, a democracy, Okay, so we get to at least vote and have somewhat of a say on what happens. Okay, uh, another one's a dictatorship. So you think of possibly like uh, North Korea, Kim Jong Un. Um, there's also some other ones. Uh, Cuba had a dictator for a long time, so that would be another one. And we're going to be going over these more in detail as we go through the lessons of possibly what you think is the the best, why different areas. Okay, then you also have like a monarch. Um, so you think kind of like the Queen of England, even though uh, the UK is a democracy now, they still have the, the monarch there is kind of like the head that's kind of a figurehead. Um, but Thailand still has, has an actual king and queen monarch kind of thing. Okay. Okay, so Kim Jong Young. Okay, hopefully I said it right. Sorry if I didn't. Okay, so I'm saying democracy. Yeah, it's it's seems to be the best um, system that we know of today. Okay, so different economic systems. Okay, so that's when you're dealing with money, with uh, things being able to do it. Uh, so a market economy is what the United States is in most modern countries. Okay. So they're often found in democracies. You basically have private companies, okay? And those companies make profits. And so that's why we get to like, we have what's called like the stock market. We have things like that. And there's competition between. So think about like um, Android and Apple, right? They're kind of battling each other a little bit of who gets more customers. You have the iPhone, you have all these Android phones, okay? So that would be a market economy. Okay, a command economy is where the government is the one that owns all the things. So, for example, more like, uh, 
let's see here, the where the Soviet Union was before. Um, Argentina has that way. And so they basically own all of it and they say, hey, you're pretty smart, you be a doctor. Hey, you're good to working with your hands, so you be a carpenter. And they tell you what you should be, okay? So you don't have a lot of freedom there. And then the last one here is kind of like a traditional economy. This would be back where, like the Native Americans, as we talked about them a little bit before, is they went and bartered and traded, okay? You still have that happen a little bit, you know, like on KSL, you can uh, trade one item for another item or something like that, okay? Okay, so somebody said Apple they think's better. <laughs> Cool. So we may have a debate in that sometime. What What is better? Or what pizza is better, right? I mean, there's always good things. Like, do you want one from Little Caesars? Or do you want one from Domino's? Okay. And whatever you like, they buy and the other business might go out of business if they don't get enough people, right? Yeah, Costco, Sam's Club. There you go. Okay. Um, all right. So we'll also talk a little bit about natural resources. Okay, uh, we have, so a natural resource would be like water, air, sunlight, uh, wood, mining, oil, that kind of stuff. And, uh, sorry, I'm trying to look at your chat at the same time. It's hard to ba bounce back and forth. So that's why I paused for a little bit. Um, so all of those things, they're, they're natural resources. Some are renewable, which means they come back. We always have them, and some are non-renewable. Okay, so we want to a little bit conserve our non-renewable resources and our renewable ones. They're easy to use, and we can continue just to kind of use them and keep using them. Okay, let's do another pool question real quick. So, which country consumes the most petroleum? Okay, so petroleum is a word you may not know. Petroleum means oil. Okay, so think of it. Would it be A, the United States, okay, B, Russia, okay, Russia is like a big country geo geo or, uh, geographically, the United Kingdom over there in Europe, or China, right? They got to have a whole bunch of cheap people in China, okay? So I'll give you a couple seconds to go and choose that on the pool. Which country consumes the most petroleum? United States, Russia. United Kingdom or China. All right, I'm just looking down here. Five, four, three. Two. Okay, it looks like most of you said uh, the United States, and you'd be correct. Okay, so honestly, I think per household, I think it's like the average is like two and a half cars per household in the United States, which is crazy. And I admit, I don't drive all my vehicles. And uh, I got like four, so I shouldn't <laughs> think of that. But some people, you know what I mean? Like they, we use a lot of vehicles, which does a lot, and then we have a lot of things like that. Okay. So as I said, we're always looking for ways to kind of um, get things to be better, uh, use things more efficiently. So one of the big hot topics, I guess, that's coming up, is does anybody know what type of car this is? What type of car this is? All right, it's an electric car. Yep, um, this one's actually a Tesla. You're correct. Um, so basically, we're looking at ways for to use renewable resources to be able to um, do that. And one of the big things is automobiles are trying to make them more efficient and also more things, so we don't have to use as much petroleum um, there. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to go into uh, the last section, uh, which talks about careers in geography. Um, and so we're just going to go through a bunch of careers, and then my exit ticket is going to be that you're either going to text me, or if you don't have like a thing, you can email me um, on my school, num my school number, my school email. Uh, what career in geography just interests you the most? It doesn't mean that you have to go into geography or, you know, maybe this stuff is boring to you, which is fine, but at least kind of what your interest is. So, here we go. 
Okay, so one thing is geographers are also what's called urban and regional planners. Okay, so that basically means as when you're looking at building a city, okay, you have to look at the different natural resources that run through the city, like a river or different areas. So, for example, in uh, New Orleans, okay, New Orleans is below sea level. So you have the sea that's up here and you have New Orleans that's down here. Okay, well, what happened when Hurricane Katrina came? It basically busted their little levee that they had up here and it went down there. So the urban and regional planners probably weren't too great, right, as they were kind of doing that. Okay. All right, another one is transportation planning, okay? So all your roads need to be engineered. And so one of the things that I do, uh, I actually teach driver's education as well. And so one of the things I do is I go through canyons, okay? Well, those canyons, the transportation has to be engineered to be able to fit um, a certain way there. Okay, also one thing called a cartographer. Okay, a cartographer is someone that... Uh, draws maps, okay, makes areas, all those kind of things. So if you like to be outside, that kind of stuff. Um, also, one, another one is population per, uh, yes, cartographers make maps, perfect. Uh, population prediction, okay, so we're going to talk about this, but as population increases, okay, one of the things that geographers look at is, hey, What's the population going to be as it grows? And are we going to have enough food, enough resources to be able to sustain that population? Okay. Sometimes governments have put in different things like you can only have one child like China has. Okay. Where they, they say, hey, you're only allowed to have one kid because we only have limited resources there. Okay. So here are some different areas as well. One is economic geography. So looking at the economy and how it works in different areas, uh, environmental geography, where, uh, you know, maybe you're out. So we had some hunters in here, right? Uh, a lot of people that are, that work for the um, forest service, that kind of stuff, they have geography as like a minor or even a major uh, because they're, they're looking at maps. They're kind of doing some of that. Uh, geographic education, so being like a teacher like myself in that area. Uh, geographic technology, so working for maybe Google, doing Google Maps, or um, Garmin as you look at little handheld uh, devices there. Uh, human and cultural, so there's some geographers that go to different places and then look about how people live, right? How cultures are, and... It's kind of a fun thing to do. Physical geography, right? Looking at mountains where uh, fault lines are for earthquakes, that kind of stuff. Uh, regional geographer, so just looking at different regions. And then urban and regional planner, which we talked about, being able to design cities this right way. So somebody said that uh, cartographers in Minecraft, right? So if you maybe like Minecraft, Minecraft is a little bit about geography, right? being able to uh, do that there. Okay. All right, that leads us to the very end here, um, which gives our exit ticket. Okay, so in order to receive some extra credit, what you're gonna do is you're gonna text me at my school number, or if you do not have um, access to a phone, you can email me, which is fine. Uh, you should have my email, zhancock at utahvirtual.org. Uh, what I want in the message is your full name and which branch of geography interests you the most. So I will open up these slides for you. Uh, and I just did. So you can go back and you can look at those different um, branches there, something that uh, does there. So somebody said, I I'd like to be a Minecraft cartographer. Okay, cool. I'll accept it. So anyways, that leads us off. I will give you um, some, uh, I'll stay after for a while if you have any questions. As I said, if you didn't take the lesson one quiz, you need to go and hurry and do it so you stay caught up. 
I've already zeroed that out, but you can get that and get credit for it. So go in and do that if you haven't real quick. Um, and then also you have a quiz that's due today, lesson two. Lesson three is due on, on uh, Wednesday. And then we do not have class on Monday because it is Labor Day. So our next class will have a recorded class on Wednesday and a recorded class on there. Okay? All right. So I'm going to stop the recording, but I will stick around to answer any questions that you may have. Okay? Recording stopped.